The Chinese are in a massive campaign in collecting data. And uh, uh, they will bank that data, uh, utilize uh, the capabilities of quantum computing to uh, access that data in future years. And, and that's where we are today. And I, I think we've got to be mindful of, uh, in a corporate sense and in, in, in a personal sense, of the aggressive nature of the Chinese. You know, the whole mentality of China has changed. Um, Lenovo, a Chinese government-owned company, was able to acquire a laptop division of IBM, the great American company. Mm -hmm. I think under today's standards, that acquisition probably could not have happened because of the personal and sensitive data at stake. And many in Congress opposed that uh, acquisition, but the executive branch went forward nonetheless. So what is your view today of Cepheus then and what it has become since your efforts in Congress uh, to strengthen it? Well, that's right on in terms of our focus. Uh, of course, with Lenovo, we had to fight uh, DOD uh, to prevent uh, the Air Force from using Lenovo, and we finally prevailed. So uh, our interest has been to make sure that uh, American companies uh, under pressure did not forfeit our sensitive technology to the Chinese to gain access to their markets. And regrettably, uh, so many of our companies then and frankly continue today are willing to uh, allow and uh, create these partnerships or do business with the Chinese and be forced uh, to convey to them uh, sensitive information. Uh, globally, uh, we need to have stronger uh, collaboration, a better working knowledge with our allies, our partners around the world. And uh, they need to understand these technology challenges and the impact of the blockchains and uh, the quantum computing and 5G and so many things that uh, are relative toward and have a security component to them.